My name is Captain David Hawkins, and I'm going to be your guide today along Boston's historic trail. And I'm going to show you how the American Revolution began here in Boston as part of America's path to independence. Now, we're standing out here on Boston Common. Boston Common is the oldest public park in British North America. Now, behind me is Beacon Hill. Now, we, when we first came here, we put something up on Beacon Hill that made us call it Beacon Hill. Can anyone guess what that is? Well, if you said lighthouse, you were wrong, because it was just a beacon, a bucket of tar that we were supposed to light on fire in case we were attacked by those brutal, murdering savages who controlled Canada. You know, the French. Yes, I know they were our allies during the Revolution, but before the American Revolution, we were good, loyal English citizens, and consequently, we did not like the French. The French had a goal of pushing the English off the North American continent. Unfortunately, even though they controlled more territory than the British did here in America, we often outnumbered them three or four to one. You see, you had to be Catholic to get into French Canada, and if you weren't Catholic, they wouldn't let you in. So the French Protestants would often go to English colonies, where they fought in the wars under English flags. The English, on the other hand, took everyone they didn't agree with and transported them here to the colonies. So by the end, the French determined in the late 1600s that in order to make up this difference, they would begin paying Indians to help them attack the English. But the English weren't entirely stupid. The English decided they could pay Indians to help attack the French. And these wars are called the French and Indian Wars, and they lasted for nearly 80 years. Now, for 80 years, the British government had more money going out than coming in. And what are you after that? Well, frankly, broke. And if you're a government, how do you raise money? Taxation. And to quote the great patriot James Otis, taxation without representation is tyranny.